of the major agenda, one of the major agenda of this regime is to bring Igbo man down. Before Tinubu could be sworn as Nigerian president, I think across Lagos states, Igbo man's properties were destroyed, demolished. At Abulodo, Olowu, Olodia Papa, First Tag, and so on and so forth. Even at Aglican, Menas Sad, Sad, the beggar. Are you listening to me? Igbo properties were destroyed. So if you tell me, if you ask me if it is their priority to destroy Igbo man's property, I will tell you that they have prioritized it. That's this regime. That is what Tinubu has been pursuing all these years. Because I don't see the reason why, he didn't see the reason why Igbos, upon all the oppression and prosecution, and the persecution, and the marginalization, Igbo man is still going higher and higher and higher, forward, everywhere. Developing, building, buying, you know, growing as an economic giant in the industry and commerce of this country. So they are doing it and doing it and, and they are doing it well to bring Igbo man down. See, let me tell you, South Okachuku well. Do you know why? Okachuku a billionaire, he bought acres of land in, in Abuja. My question is that, is Oka, Anambra State Capital, not there? Don't we have over that place? You have Uyo in Akwe Ibom State, vast land. You have a point state, a point state has vast land, Enugu State as well. See, he, he has it in mind that he had it in mind that if he bought so so acres in Abuja, he's going to do well. Well, it depends on the kind of business he runs, but all I believe is that business is business. Hotel here, hotel management is good in the north, is good in the west, south, east, south, south, everywhere you can. It can thrive well. It's a moving business. What did he build on the land? 100 and something, I'll be 200 and something acres. There are land in the southern Nigeria. You are building that kind of establishment in the north. Killers. Where you know that these people are constituting most of, let's say, 75% of terrorism in Nigeria. So in the years to come, are you going to go home with those establishments? Or are you going to bring those acres of land down to Igbo land? Serve him well. Then on the side of week, I'm not trying to paint him gold at what he's doing. Nigerians, destroying Nigerians' property, whether Igbo man or Yoruba man or Hausa man in the north, that is good. But let me tell you, Mwike, if you tell me, ask me who he is, I will tell you that he's a man that is not quite far from psycho fancy. Yes, when a man excesses, is getting too much. You will find out that we use the word psycho fancy. Because a man which is in the in the right senses should not be doing what Wicca is doing. He's fighting everybody, he's fighting Igbo man, he's fighting Hausa man, he says he's an Igbo man, he says he's not Igbo man, he fights Fubara, he fights the river Rhines in River State. So that's why. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm telling as I'm telling you now, silently he's fighting Tinubu. Because Tinubu himself is even afraid of Wike. So that's why if I say something about Wike, I, I, I'm not trying to go far from, I don't, I don't go far from insanity as a word to qualify him. Because a man in his right senses will not like to make headline topics on the daily newspapers every day. Every day you keep on fighting people, People keep on writing, social media lamenting, media houses lamenting. It is getting too much. So I think we should question his mental ability. If not well balanced, I think we have psychiatrists all over Nigeria. They should call him and put reset everything in his what brain in order so that the man will be working as a real human being, reintegrate himself among other humans in Nigeria. I don't think he's mentally balanced as a man. Yeah. And I come out to say that um, if care is not taken, that the APC um, um, government, this government, will still do more havoc to the Igbos. Um, even in Lagos, we see something like that. Do you think that there's an agenda against Biafrans and Igbos as regards this? Uh, uh, there has always been, you know, since 1953 to date, there has always been, you know, and, and what might have. Uh, engineered that um, is led for those 
who think that Igbo man is the problem. Why we know that actually we know who are the problem. You know, um, the fact is still remain that anybody that is saying this now for me, it is not acceptable because even the Yorubas oak houses in London, in Canada, in America. This time on everybody you're talking about too. All houses in Finland. You have every right to own a property anywhere. There's a law, an international law, that supersedes the national law. International law, universal law, supersedes indigenous law. And in the international law, you, uh, uh, you have, there's an act, according to the United Nations, that you have every right. International property management to own any property anywhere in the world, including Lagos State, including anywhere. But the problem is this: there are these uh, uh, deliberate, you know, um, uh, um, uh, moves by the, the harsh political undertone against the Igbos, you know, in trying to um, uh, uh, bring down what they have labored for over the years in terms of their property and all the rest. But the development, whatever happens in, in, in Abuja, where a certain man has been saying that um, he's going to take it up with Winke, you know, and uh, to an extent, Winke has also responded, you know. But the, the, the thing is this, if that particular uh, property falls within government plan, you know, I think the next thing, the best thing the government is supposed to do is not to show uh, they are after social and so person or so and so group or so and so tribe. It to pay adequate compensation for such property. You understand? Before, because before such person can be able to buy such property, he would have gone through a certain process which is been or has been approved by the government. He would have obtained some certain documentation empowering him to establish a structure in that location. So in that regard, there should be need for proper compensation in that regard. And if it is being seen to be having a certain uh, undertone, you know, of course, the civil society organizations will take it up. So whether Simon Eba is talking this or that, you know, this and that, no. We know that there is need for charity to begin at home. And the Igbos have had, have had, had the cry for uh, uh, development, you know, in their land. Igbos have... Let me, let me tell you, kudos to Igbos, honestly, because um, ever since the, after the war, you know, there has no, there is no federal government, even before the war, there was no federal government presence in the entire eastern Nigeria to date. So what you see there in terms of development is just purely um, 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 uh, individual efforts, you know. Uh, that's why you are seeing what you are seeing in eastern Nigeria currently. If you have been there during or after, immediately after the war, you would have discovered that the entire eastern region was leveled by international forces led by Nigeria, uh, Gowon and the rest during the war. But go there today, you'll be amazed at the ingenuity of an Igbo man. So, Igbo man is not a threat to anybody. In Igbo language, they say, What am I trying to say is that if you see birds that are flying with all the space in the atmosphere, I want to tell the other one, don't perch there. Uh, okay, you are saying that I should not perch there. Show me where I will perch. That is what Igbo man stands for. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. You say I should not stay here. Okay, this one is not your own now. This one belongs to everybody. Okay, you say I should not stay here. Show me where I will stay. They will still take Igbo man to Eastside Forest. And three years later, they will still come back and say, 
You understand? So that is why the agitation is going on that Akuru law, the Igbo man should come back home you know, and develop uh, uh, from that angle. And the Igbo man, you know, because of their nature, they find it very difficult until Biafra comes as a nation. That's why you know that uh, the black man, which Igbo represents, you know, is beyond what the Japanese or the, or, or the China is talking about. But, but some will say that, um, um, I think it was allegedly reported that Wiki, you know, demolished the property just because of, it was like, why we an Igbo man or why we one person have 215 acres of land in that, in that particular location? The question is that, did they break Wiki hand from having such property? That do not break anybody's hand now from having such property. They, you, you look at it very well. You, don't be surprised that some of this property you are talking about we are bought when those areas were, were forest. They don't see the vision the woman is seeing. The woman can come to a place. Look, look at what is happening now in Lagos. Do you know that half of Lagos was bought by Ujuku's father? <laughs> Including the, the Ikoyi, Apapa. In those days, it be a forest. Nobody were going there. But he bought it. But today, federal government successfully took took everything away from him. That's just it. So Wike, you know, is just being myopic, you know, with his reasoning. And of course, we know everybody's watching him, you know. And very soon, we are, the, the the world is going to over Wike. Let us know who is this Wike they are talking about. That's just a fact. So it does not stop there, you know, whether he said, uh, you know, I can want Igbo man acquire all these acres of land. It's not of his business because they did not break his hand. He tried to say one to pursue Igbo in Abuja. We can don't have the strength. He don't have the power. Let me remind you, when Fashola is a governor in Lagos State, Fashola tried to do the same thing. When he loads Igbos, from Lagos here yeah, to east. He said that if you don't have money to go back or you don't have anything to do in Lagos, come to a, a government house and collect, you see 5,000 or 8,000 naira to go back to your village. You don't have the power, talk less on weekend. Which the weekend start his own. Weekend just a little boy when Igbo is. No need to give her uh, seven days or not seven days. We can, even if you not collect the punishment now, the children, the children, children will suffer it. You know, what Bible God use when they want to crucify Jesus, they say, let the, the blood of Jesus go there on, on top of their head and their children and the children, children to seven generation. What this wicked is doing now is what will affect in children. The children, children, children. How many years remain wicked to die? Do you understand me? We can already tested life. Enjoy life. But what's happened in future? You understand me? What's happened in future? So me, I didn't see that to give weekend seven days much necessary. Like the governor of Imo State, what is happening in the governor of Imo State and Imo people? The governor of Imo State doing something to affect in, in generation. It's not present now because they already said their mind to demon, to the devil. They don't have any woman sympathy. They don't have any woman feeling. You understand me? So you both to give us seven days is nothing. Let the gods to fight for the thing. And I know that we can cannot pursue Igbo man at Abuja. We can do not have power to pursue Igbo man at Ipere. Where is the FC, FC, FCT minister? UFCT minister. FCT. UFCT. Whether UFCT minister or not UFCT minister, there is the lion of the jungle. There is Igbo man is the lion in that jungle, in the struggle. We can still be Tata. Who is the wicked get, get power for Asura, Abuja, for any city? In just few months time, we can have that strength. You will see there, there, how many months or years, you will stay pack in load and do what? And get out. You understand? In just few time, Igbo men will still be there. Igbo men, the lion, 
will still be there. And Wiki will still come back and beg. We Wiki will leave that with Tunle and beg you boss. Okay, look at Asari Tokuba. We can never do what Asari Tokuba does. You understand? We can never do one quarter what Asari Tokuba do. What happened for Asari Tokuba now? Asari Tokuba is around this scatter, scatter, scatter. You know that the spirit of the land, your own land, he denied that you are not Igbo man because of power. He denied your identity. No, it's a shame. What story the man will tell in children? Okay, now, in Nigeria now, we have only three tribes in this country. Awosa, Yoruba, Igbo. Okay, where we could belong? You belong to Yoruba? Or you belong to Awosa? No, let's tell ourselves the truth. I didn't see the man as the man is not the issue of Igbos. What I want to tell Igbos, Igbo millionaires, nothing like home. You understand me? The advice I giving them is nothing like home. When you have 20 outside, try to get 100 to your home. Because your people must eat for your pockets. If your people don't eat for your pocket, the last time you will see your people will turn to a terrorist. When you open company for your people, when they finish education, they will go, they will go to your company and work. They don't need to go, go another city to go and stay. They will stay for their land, work, and collect a good money and take care of themselves. We can do not have right to say, Igbo man, go to your land. Yoruba man will not have right go land, go home to your place and establish. But you open your own land. Invest for your land. Invest for your land. Let job opportunity come to your citizen. Don't carry your job opportunity and go outside. You see your people, they are hungry. You tell me that if you come back home, your people will not kidnap you. Because they are hungry. You understand me? That Igbo man that built company in Abuja, built houses in Abuja, who built hotel in Abuja, let that Igbo man carry in company go where? Go Anambara, go Abia State, go Mahia, go Ebon State, go Enugu State, go and open it. Let the citizen of your people to get job opportunity. Forget Abuja, Lagos, other states. Go home and do it. Like me. I pray when God bless me, I will go back to my city and build. Employ my people. They will serve me. They will work for me. I will feed them. The feeding I'm talking about is not when you come my house. No, I carry 20 now, 20, 100, I give. No, I will open comp, employ you, you work and collect a good salary. Next time, even though the evil one plan against me, my people will sit there, me guys, see what is going on. They cannot stand there. So the people from another world to come and murder me. No. What happens in the world now? They say kidnapping, kidnapping, like is it's because of boys that are jobless. Guys, they are jobless. If you have a good job, you are doing nothing like kidnapping. Nothing like boys to carry gum and wait for a road. They will do what? They focus for their work. If you go work by 8 o'clock, come by by 5 o'clock, my brother, you don't have time to say you want to kidnap. You understand me? I don't see anything about weak or Igbo give and seven days. I'm not weak care fans. You understand me? I'm not weak care fans. I'm telling the reality. Let Igbo millionaires go home and establish their place. Okay, look at Abia State now. Now, many people try to go back to Abia State because there is a light there. Abia State, we know that. He cannot enter Abia State by 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, he cannot stay in Abia State. But now he can go to Abia State by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. You understand me? We make the government let the, the bad one guy. It's not our purpose to make you to be a bad guy. But look, look at it. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. You see, those guys will come down and 
hockey. Yeah, this is our person. He wants our good living. Not to go to another city to open city. No. I'm not there to build company or another city is very bad. No. Because without foreigners, your place cannot be open. Let some people still come our place to develop our land. Let's have more job opportunity. I think the Lagos and Abuja space will be there. Where space will be there? Okori will get a job. Okori will get a job. Mbweke and Mbori, everybody will have job opportunity. Things will just move out. As you are a journalist, you can come to my land, my city, and go, ah, Mr. Lawrence, how this place, how our governor, how those. Yeah, big millionaire or business they are doing. I would tell you, they are doing very well. Is it? Traveler is a part of education. You understand me? What I want to tell Igbo millionaire that I say they give you weekend seven days. My brother, not like home. Go your home and develop your place. The cost that they say if if you can don't apologize. Um, um, that um, there will be a cost on him. Uh, like, do you think anything, anything, anything like cost we, you know, we manifest um, um, on, on him? My brother, listen. That lies, God. But let me tell you one thing. When he sell your soul to a demon, you don't have anything to I beg again. You understand? Those are our politicians. They are monsters. They are monsters. They no believe. Say, let me beg. May the God of land no call revenge. No. Remember what happened for govern former governor of Imo State. Um, um, former governor of Imo State. What is his name? Uh, hope was a them man. See the gov. No be hope. Uh, what is the name of this man? Rocha Sokorocha. There's one market in the in Imo State. Rocha. We came from which state? It's from River State, have you? Which game River State? Uh, Mansion. Igbo is River State is for Biafra land. Uh, what you understand me? Igbo River State is from Igbo land. It's Biafra land. We can is Igbo name. You understand me? We can is Igbo name. If you go to Bible or whatever book they want to write Igbo language, you will see we can. You understand me? Nah, we care destroying people. Only that thing first. Only that thing will already damage in career. To feel a key in people when you be governor for river states. That one is just he kill himself, the identity. Because of selfish interest. Because of the governor. Because of jealous. Because particular city or particular people. There are people that are pushing Nigeria so much. Because people that own the economy of Nigeria see the Igbos. Let me mention the Igbos, Anambara, Imo, Abian, that five states. The strongest people that are known in the Igbo land. Now, you see her power to go back to Fedra. He said that the way it is for River State, Ikwere, Patakos, that is the way it is for for Abuja. What? Let me tell you one thing. When Adolfo Sittilas tried to wipe Israel out in this planet, Adolfo Sittilas cannot do it.